everyone, this is Jason here at Grand Slam, here with another weekly pick video, talking about stuff that came across our counter, put on the shelf. So let's get going. There's a lot of different books I want to talk about this week. First and foremost, we have Justice League, Gods and Monsters, Batman. So this one is based on an animated cartoon created by Bruce Timm, who's like one of the, he did all the crazy good animations back in the 90s. So he's back at it again. And in this one, it's uh, it, it looks like it's a very dark, foreboding story. It might have something to do with vampire, like the your classic heroes kind of being monsterish, taking on monstrous archetypes. It's hard to say. Uh, but this is the first book. There's going to be a lot of these books coming out. I think they're usually like one-shots. And so it's just kind of a neat way to engage you, the comic reader, along with this animated movie that is coming out. So definitely come in and check those out. We'll be getting more of them in. As the year goes on, Cyborg, number one, uh, finally Cyborg, he was put into Justice League in 2011. Now he's getting his own title. So this is one that you can definitely check out, give him some love, you know, throw some shuckles down and support Cyborg. I'm sure it's a good story. They've waited a long time for this. So we kind of get to learn a little bit about Cyborg real quick. Just a you know, flash. we got Harley Quinn and Power Girl, really popular series. It was such a popular idea in the Harley Quinn book that they decided to put it into this book. So uh, Wonder Woman by Finch, both of them. Uh, just, you know, it just it's a beautiful book. The art's great. I mean, her armor looks really snazzy and cool. Uh, I am, I, you know, is, is this as good as the Azarello Wonder Woman stuff? I don't know. I don't think so. But, uh, you know, it's a little bit more accessible to the public. Wonder Woman's getting a huge pop with the whole movie thing coming out. Uh, new issue of Deathstroke as well. The art in here is actually by Tony S. Daniel. just looks great. Uh, everything pops. It looks like it's Deathstroke versus Wonder Woman. That That's a can't miss. That's a can't miss book. And, of course, Flash 42. Uh, everybody loves Flash, keeping up with the book. So there's a lot of cool DC books on the rack this week that aren't just Batman and Superman. So you can definitely check those out. Uh, so over at Marvel, remember, we always do our Secret Wars on a separate video. Uh, but we have the last days of Punisher, so this is the last Punisher. It's like the death of Punisher. Uh, guess what? Punisher dies in a blaze of glory. Spoiler alert. I mean, that, that every time he's died, that's how it happens. So uh, this is Magneto, last days of Magneto. This is a very heralded, popular run. I don't really talk about this book that much, but uh, we will have trade paperbacks for it in stock eventually. I've heard a lot of good things about it. Colin Bunn, I believe, was the art writer for this. And uh, it's been a pretty popular series. It was always one that people were clamoring for. People love Magneto. They like to have a good Magneto story. So now that you know that it is done at issue 20, maybe you can go back and check out a good read about Magneto. It doesn't necessarily mean he has to be alive. or I mean, we're all going to live So, in the after Secret Wars. Another issue of Uncanny X-Men. I know number 600 is just around the corner or October, but uh, it has got pushed back. But there's a new Uncanny X-Men issue. I'm super excited. I didn't even know this was coming out because uh, I thought at the end of the last issue it said the next issue is issue 600. So Uncanny X-Men, number 35, always happy about more X-Men books. And, of course, Hawkeye. Uh, there was a Hawkeye book last week, too. That was issue 22. But now we're into the series proper. This has been a great book, uh, retelling his origin plus moving the story forward, two types of art. I can't say enough about that title. Uh, so also real quick here, we're going to talk about our indie picks or creator own picks. Fight Club 2, issue number three. This is a cool book. It's definitely a different style of writing. If you like a very narrative line, it's not there. Uh, it's a little bit all over the place, but you know what? It's the story of Fight Club, a sequel. You can follow this character. It's a little schizophrenic. Well, you know, so is Tyler Durden. Uh, so yeah, pretty cool. Uh, Birthright number nine. Still love this book. Every issue that comes out, I'm always excited about. If you're not getting Birthright, get it. We have trades. We got issues. Get Birthright because it is a great, great title. My new pick here for this week to try out is Wolf. Uh, I don't really know too much about it except it's by Alice Cott. Alice Cott is just a weird writer, so I'm hoping for something just a little, little more tangible for me to get my mind around. But uh, it's a can't miss. Look how big this thing is. It is $4.99. So it isn't like the Hickman book that was this huge. That's a huge comic book. So that's a lot to take in, a lot to read. So definitely check out Wolf if you can because it looks like a lot of value. Uh, last but not least, uh, to talk about, this is uh, the end of an era. 13 years, 
uh, Fables has been running. This is issue 150. It comes in a trade paperback size book. Uh, so some of you might have missed this this week. I know we kind of misordered it, but we'll try to get some more. But look out for Fables. If you've never read Fables before, Fables is one of my favorite trade stories out there, uh, favorite Vertigo books out there. It's basically your favorite fairy tale characters living in a world that is real. They have relationships. It's, there's a lot of controversy. And it's just cool fantasy story type stuff. It's like it's like the fairy tale show on TV, the one that ABC does, except it's really cool and gritty, and it has a lot more of the relationships to people, and I just think it's great. But anyways, this is issue 150. Uh, my tip of the cap, tip of the cap to Willingham. He's been doing this book for so long, it's finally come to its end. They're ending it the right way with just a huge, massive story, you know, because that's all this was was a huge, massive story. So, you know, like I said, I'm, I'm really excited about that. Go check that book out. Uh, before we close down this video today, I uh, just want to mention previews have come in at your local comic book shops. We like previews because this is our way to find out what is coming out two months since our crystal ball. Some of you use the Internet, and you can use the Internet, but, you know, we're analog, and we like to use this magazine. But what's important about this is once this gets in the hands of a comic store owner, we can talk to you about these books that are coming out. You can start pre-ordering them. We can tangibly make that happen for you. And there's a lot of crazy books coming up for Marvel. Need to say, woo -doo -doo -doo. that's right. We got some new Marvel books coming out. New great DC books. I mean, this is Batman Eternal 2. I didn't know there was a sequel to Batman Eternal coming out. So that's previews. So make sure you go down and check that out. Be very clear with your friendly comic book store that these are the books that you want. They will order them for you. You will get them. You will be safe and happy. So until next time, those are our pre picks for this week, and uh, I hope to see you in the future.